Hey, good morning. It's Lindsay. Um, in a couple of minutes, we're going to be starting a 15 minute live stretch. And uh, if you have a chair, you can use a chair, but you do not have to have one. Um, we're going to be doing a full body stretch and um, giving you an opportunity to breathe and do a little bit of movement and counteract all of, of the sitting that you may be doing during the day. Um, so hopefully everyone is uh, doing their best to get outside and get some movement into your day, um, taking time to even walk around every hour just to move. It's easy to sit uh, for so long. So good morning and uh, hello. <laughs> um, so the first, just get your feet shoulder width apart, um, standing knees just a little bit bent and you're going to take a couple of really deep breaths in. So breathe in and stretch your arms over your head and big breath out, exhale. Two more times, inhale, stretching up and exhale through your mouth. One more time, inhale up and big exhale through your mouth. Good. Now bring your hands to mountain pose, so palms forward and just comfortably standing, feet shoulder width apart, pull your shoulders back, squeeze your core. We're going to take a deep breath in, arms overhead, and grab your right hand with your left and move over to the opposite side. So if you're holding your left hand, you're leaning over to the right. And just keep your breathing going here. Keep your breathing facing forward so you get that big stretch through your side. Push the opposite foot down so you feel a little bit more. Then inhale and come up. Grab your other hand and exhale, lean to the opposite side. So if you're grasping your left hand, you're leaning over to the right and you're pushing your left foot down. Keep breathing going. Good. Inhale up and bring your arms down. This time, breathe in and up. Drop one hand down and exhale as you lean down to that side. Feeling that stretch through the side here. Keep your breathing going. Good morning. Inhale up and exhale. Drop your hand down. Keep facing forward so that you've got that big stretch through your side. Keep your breathing going. Always breathing. Inhale up. And bring your arms down to your side. Now we're going to do a forward fold. So inhale up, all the way up. And forward fold all the way so that your hands are hanging down. Relax your head. Just nod your head. Relax your shoulders, hang your shoulders out. Your knees can be bent. You can grasp your opposite elbows if you like and just hang out down there for a minute. Sway a little bit to one side. Sway a little bit to the other side. Knees bent a lot if you're tight in the hamstrings. Then just let your arms hang down again and come to a halfway lift and breathe in. Inhale, hands on your shins, back flat and then exhale and forward fold. One more time, inhale, back flat, halfway lift, back flat, shoulders back, exhale and down. Now you're gonna come all the way up to standing. So inhale all the way up, big stretch, arms overhead, and forward fold again, all the way over your legs, knees bent if you like, head relaxed, nod it, yes, Nod no to relax your neck. Come up, halfway lift. And exhale down. All the way up, one more time. Inhale up. Arms overhead. And another forward fold. Exhale, hinge at your hips all the way down. Knees relaxed, a little bit bent. Head relaxed. Nod your head to relax it. Let your arms just kind of dangle down there. Halfway lift, breathing in, exhale down. 
One last time, coming up. All the way up, overhead, arms, and bring your arms down. Now we're gonna step one foot forward quite a bit. Back leg is a big step back, and you're on your toes of your back leg, and you're gonna breathe in, arms overhead into crescent lunge. So you have front knee 90 degrees, knee over your ankle, back leg is straight or almost straight and you're pushing your hips forward and breathe here. So you're on the ball of the back foot. Just keep breathing. You can bring your thumbs out, looking up if you want a little bit, a little challenge to your balance. So move your feet wider apart if you find your balance is challenged. Good job. And then step forward. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So step back, big step back, crescent lunge on the other side. Bring your arms up, feet wide enough apart so that your balance isn't wobbly and looking up. So you're gonna feel that in the front of the hip of the back leg. Thumbs are out, index fingers are in. You can look up if you like, feeling strong today. Keep your breathing going. and come back up, step your foot forward. Now we're gonna do a step, foot, one foot back, toes are pointing straight forward, and legs are straight or almost straight, and you're gonna fold forward toward your front shin. So you're gonna feel that in your hamstrings of the front leg. You can relax your head, you can put your hands on your shin, you can put your hands on the floor if you're tired, flexible or you can put your hands on your knee and just feeling that stretch in the hip in the hamstring front leg they may be talking to you try and square your hips and come up now calf stretch of the back leg so push your heel down front knee is bent now and you can grab hold of your elbow and gently pull back so you're getting a calf stretch and at the same time, you're getting a tricep stretch. Bend your back leg so you'll feel a little bit lower in your calf. Keep that tricep stretch going. And step forward. Now step your other leg back. Legs straight or almost straight. Feet wide enough apart that you have some balance. Toes are pointing forward like on train tracks and fold forward. You can put your hands on your shins. If you're flexible, hands on the floor. Big stretch on the front hamstring, front leg. Maybe all the way up into your glute, you'll feel this. And just keep your breathing going. Good challenge for your balance as you wobble back and forth here. Use it or lose it. So keep working on your balance every day. Then come up and you're gonna bend your front knee Push your back heel down so you feel it in your calf of your back leg. And then see if you can remember which other arm you haven't stretched. So gently pulling back so you feel it in the tricep. If you're really flexible, you can grab on behind your head and pull. Just gently feeling that through your upper tricep area. Bend your back knee a little bit and you feel it in your lower calf now. and bring your arms down. Step forward. Now you're gonna cross your right foot over your left. So see if you can keep your balance here. Line your toes up if you can, whoa. And then you're gonna fold forward. So this is a stretch of your hip, hips. Front knee can be bent and just hold there. Relax your head. You can put your hands on your shins or wherever, or, but definitely your hips will be talking to you right now. Come all the way up slowly, gracefully, and you're gonna cross the other way. So cross the other foot over, front knee is bent. Try and line your toes up, almost impossible for me. And then fold forward over your front leg. Front knee bent, relax your head, stretching the hamstrings. And then Come back up slowly. 
Now we're going to turn sideways so you have your feet in a wide straddle. Toes are pointing straight ahead. And now you turn your front knee forward. So you have the front knee or front foot pointing 90 degrees and going into warrior two. So you have a big lunge, arms are wide. So it looks like this. So big lunge, you'll probably feel it in your inner thighs. Keep your upper body upright. I don't have enough room here against the wall. And then you're gonna flip your front palm and exalt your warrior. So you'll feel that through the one side. Your back hand can go down your leg or it can come into your lower back. And then go back into warrior two. Hold that for a minute. Your leg, turn your knee out slightly so that your knee's not coming in. And then inhale, arms overhead. Straighten your legs. Exhale back into warrior two. Looking over your middle finger. Inhale up. Straighten your leg. Exhale, warrior two last time. Inhale up. Straighten your leg, big breath in. Exhale into warrior two, looking over those that front hand, warrior gaze. Okay, come up, turn your feet forward, big straddle. We're gonna do the same on the other side. Feet wide apart, toes pointing straight ahead. Turn the front foot, and you're going to lunge into warrior two on the other side. So front knee pointing straight forward, feet straight straight forward, back foot is 90 degrees, and you're lunging over that front knee, arms are up, flip your front palm, and exalt your warrior. So hand down your back leg, big stretch in your side, keep your breathing going. It may get a little bit shorter, but keep it moving. And then back into warrior two, inhale up, as you straighten your leg and then exhale back into warrior two. Inhaling up and exhale. One last time, inhale up, big breath and exhale into warrior two. Good job. Coming up, feet shoulder width apart. And we are going to do a stretch for your outer thigh so you can cross your foot over your knee. Your foot is flexed and your knee is out to the side and you can gently push on your leg figure four. So pushing on the, the bent leg gently, not on your knee. Sitting back if you want. You can also do this sitting in a chair if that's easier for you. So some people are super tight here. You'll feel it right in your hip, outer leg, coming up, and then changing. You're gonna cross your other leg over. This leg is a challenge for my balance. Pushing down, foot is flexed, not pushing on the knee, but pushing till you feel it through the outer part of your leg, your hip, mostly. Keep your breathing going. You can squat down if you're really, really flexible and come up. Okay, so we're gonna do some neck stretches. So bringing your ear to your shoulder. And if you wanna help that stretch, push your opposite hand down so you feel that through that side of your neck, just holding. Now bring your head neutral ear to your other shoulder, push your opposite hand down. Head back to neutral, look over one so you're turning your head 90 degrees like you're backing up in your car. Head forward, looking over the other shoulder, hopefully you can get 90 degrees, I cannot. Back into the center, nose to armpit. So. Bringing your nose down, you can pull if you like the Michael Jackson stretch, so gently pulling your chin down to feel more stretch 
and then head back to neutral nose to your other armpit so nose down or chin down assisting if you like and head back to neutral now just a couple of shoulder circles so doing some circles backward circles exaggerate the circles you can add your knees if you want to be fancy so you're just kind of big shoulder circles all the way up all the way back and down big shoulder circles all the way back especially one more time and last little bit take a deep inhale we're going to do two three more stretches inhale up and exhale one more time inhale up and exhale I should be able to hear you last time inhale up on your toes big stretch growing a centimeter or two today and then exhale hopefully you have a great day today take some time to be creative whether that means baking something or making something um, always some satisfaction with creating something so hope you have a great day and thanks so much